Now, set for release on Waitangi Day, the Pa Boys movie is shaping up to be the Kiwi film of the summer. Reporter Yvonne Tahana met the Pa Boy who made it. Himiona Grace. You're the first people to see the sun in the whole world today. Lights. Just did that scene. With natural light, I couldn't be happier, mate. Camera. Yeah, so that's pretty good, actually. Action. The Par Boys are hitting a town off State Highway 1 near you this summer. Down the Par Boys. To yeah. down north, yeah. It's about a band, a three piece band. They form in Wellington and then they go on tour to small town pubs. The main character is Danny, who was a whangai, and he has got really no interest in his whakapapa. Um, in fact, he kind of rejects it, things Māori. That's what they teach you in Māori class there, up means down. Before your ancestors colonised your other ancestors, things were different. You got white blood in you too, wanker. So the other main character is Tau, who was brought up tutu, but he's carrying a family secret, which is a makutu, yeah. And uh, it's about what they actually do for each other. Marama is the moon, but it also means to understand. We're all searching for something, and who, who we are, who we belong to, where we belong. And these guys are just, in the story, are just sort of make, feeling their way through life, just like we all do. When you're in darkness, you're lost. And the moon comes out from behind the cloud and casts her light over the land, the bush. Everything becomes clear. The movie is all but done, but Himiona wants it to hit all the sweet spots. We did a mixture of live and pre-recorded music. And yeah, it has to be perfect. Yeah, it's getting better, eh? It's getting pretty Yeah, man. I think the full one would be better. Yeah. yeah. It's high. Yeah, but it is high. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no place like home for Himilna. It's a place he helped build in the late 80s, and it's where he first got behind a camera. I do call myself a Hongawika Pa boy. We had the best of both worlds, whereas, you know, outside the gate was the suburbs in Purirua and Wellington but inside the gates it was like our own little paradise. You could still just walk into anyone's house and sleep there and eat and stuff. But it was amazing, I think we were really, really lucky. I'm looking for tomorrow. He wanted to bring that feeling of home on the road. It wasn't your usual shoot, we ran it like a whānau. We ran it like a community, <laughs> like a pa community. We got to spend two weeks on my father's marae in Tuparoa. And I took the crew there, you know, and there's no electricity and no cell phone signal. In. <laughs> there's pretty much nothing there. And, um, you know, I was really worried. And when we went there, the crew were coming up to me every day and saying, thank you for bringing us here. That's just amazing, you know. So I, so that was a bit of a highlight for me. Awesome location, ain't it? He wrote the script, co-wrote the music, and just because he doesn't mind being a busy fella, it's also his directorial debut. Making a movie. But it's taken him a while to get here. Well, I always knew I was going to do it. It's just that I didn't want to travel away with film crews while my kids were growing up. I just preferred to play music by far. But you put them all together, writing, photography, music, and that's a film. Your mother is a treasure, the novelist Patricia Grace. Your wife is a playwright, uh, Briar Grace Smith. Has it been difficult to find your own path? I don't think difficult's the word. In fact, I think it's an advantage, because all the attention is on them. <laughs> and, you know, I get introduced as Patricia Grace's son or Briar Grace Smith's husband. <laughs> I didn't tell Briar for years that I was writing a film. Um, in fact, the first person I told was Meta Tomito. When she read it, she was the one that drove me to actually go, to go through with it and push on and push on. Himiona had a star to guide him, but he's made sure Māori communities shine too. When you go to Uawa or you go to Tukumaru or 
to tickle, you know. You can't bring extras in to play extras. And to get the locals to actually agree to do it, not only agree to do it, but they were keen. I'm on TV! And then them to be themselves. It makes the film just much more authentic. Yeah, we're in the pub. And the cat. Yeah, and um, yes, I am single, guys. <laughs> The communities you go to just really turned it on. You know, it was amazing. Um, I think everywhere we went, we had a wild pork on the, on the spit. He reckons there's a par boy in everyone. They'll love it, I know they will. Yeah, and I just, um, that's what I feel good about. It's really about what we all know is important, which is whakapapa, who you are, and whānau, who you're with. Very cool, That's hey. Cool. Um, here's something uniquely homegrown. The makers of Par Boys are moving away from the city lights for their movie premiere. They want to go to a par or community hall and it could be yours. That's right. After community screenings in Ruatoria, Tolaga Bay, Te Teko and Northland, they're going to let you decide where the official premiere will be. I love this. Um, it's all part of a Facebook competition. You upload a video telling them why they should bring the Power Boys band and film to you. Now, the most likes on Facebook wins and they'll turn up at yours with a screen, projector, popcorn, ice cream. I'm just throwing the ice cream in there because you have to dip Coke. the ice cream in the popcorn. Uh, the band and, of course, the film. Uh, you can check out the competition on facebook.com slash the or you'll find the link on our Facebook page.